Okay, so this is a little bit different on a Raspberry Pi. Uh, it's not an operating system that was intended for the Raspberry Pi, um, but uh, it's a little bit like DeX, uh, the Samsung operating system. Uh, also, it's been built in some of the write-ups I've been reading, uh, and I'll put a load of links in the description all about it. But as you can see, if I go along the bottom here, if I click on some of the bits, uh, so connection for instance, you get this menu, uh, which the Wi-Fi I don't think is working on this, but I've got it on a wired internet connection. So if I click on the volume, you can see that it comes up with these sliders. On the settings, you get these tabs, very sort of Android-like tabs, but in a, more like a Chrome OS uh, sort of uh, way of presenting it. And you can go into various different settings and so on. Uh, notifications you've got there as well. Uh, this hides the taskbar, so you can make yourself a little bit more room and that one exits uh, Centio as an operating system. So down the bottom left here, I have a proper search for all the apps, and you'll probably notice what the operating system is now because looking through, these are all Android apps. And this is actually kind of a skin that can go on top of Android. Now it's more intended to be used with a phone using with an external display. So uh, I've been reading about you can Chromecast it, uh, you can plug it into uh, certain laptops and it will work. Um, but uh, on the Pi, as I say, it's not intended for the Pi because the Pi has some great desktop operating systems, so there's, there's absolutely no need for this. But I just thought it was interesting to have a look. Uh, and I just like the presentation, really. It's, uh, it was interesting to see how it shows these apps. And if you were looking for an app, you can type in and it comes up just like a desktop operating system would. Uh, you've also got the show desktop option as well. So if I open up an app and then I hit the show desktop, you can see that it goes back to that. I've obviously changed the background. Uh, the reason it looks quite pixelated is because it's an XP uh, background. And it's not doing uh, Windows in the right way. And I think there is a way of doing this. This is really just out of interest doing this, just because it was something different to show on the Pi. It's not something I think people are going to use on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, you can see the resolution is very low, uh, and these are really quite pixelated. But, uh, but performance is okay. This, this is running on top of Lineage OS, which is by no means finished on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, it keeps getting better, uh, but things like the Play Store are working. But you can see then it, it really mimics more, uh, well, it just leaves this taskbar on the top, so it still looks a bit like a desktop, but this is showing in full screen. And there is, as I say, that I read that there is a way of making this, the, um, all the windows resizable. So if I close that one down, and you'll see actually when I do this, uh, if I go across to the side, uh, so let's close that one down, this is the Sentio desktop uh, running as an app. So I could just force close it and then I'd be back into ordinary Android. Uh, I'm using the Nova launcher. So if I go back here, uh, let's just close down the Play Store and we'll just try uh, YouTube. So as you see, this stays stays over the top, but then you could hide it if you wanted to. So we've got, if we if we did want to change some settings in here, we can do. I can't remember what the Sentio. Yeah, so again, this is very sort of Chromebook looking. And it's a nice idea. I, I mean, I, I've always been fascinated by the deck system um, and, and just I can hear you know, the, the usability so for that. This field. No, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Bruv, what's, what's going on there? You can take your blindfolds off. So the, You've got two pixels. So the YouTube doesn't work too badly. Yeah, it was, I've always been uh, sort of interested in the deck system. I don't think I'd, I'd need it, but I like the idea that if you're someone who travels a lot, you could just plug your phone into a, a hotel television and then you've got a full desktop browser. And I, really, I, I just think that's a good idea. Uh, I don't know if I'd use it, but, um, but I like the idea of it. It's, uh, it's pretty impressive. So that's YouTube running. Well, I suppose if I... Oh, that wasn't an advert. That was an actual video. Uh, if I go full screen... Hit play. Again, this desktop's running the challenge at 7 is to get home only using the new Google Assistant. Can we call some And it does all right. Actually, it is an advert, because it? it's Google Assistant. But where's there's no skip ad. So if I go back down here, or you can see that this is kind of overlaid. So I might have to press escape. Will that get me back? Double tap. Escape. Oh, I can't get out of it. Oh, I can do show desktop. 
That's nice to have. Yeah, that's, that's something you don't normally get on Android in, in that it's a different way of doing it. And it's going back to the Sentio desktop, not going back to uh, the, the Android desktop. In fact, what happens if I press home? Something weird, something very weird. So this is the Nova launcher. So you can see I've changed the background in the Nova launcher as well uh, to an old XP one, but yeah, very low res. So now if I was to go into all apps, I can then see, yeah, that's Sentio. So if I click on that, it will do something weird. Just thinking about it. Yeah, there we go, back into the Sentio desktop. Click on that, scroll through with the mouse, through the apps, and then just launch something. So if I wanted to say TV player, Again, it comes full screen, but there, as I say, I think there is a way of windowing it, but I'm not gonna stick with this operating system. I just thought I'd stumbled across it. I was researching Dex and, uh, and I found this app on the Google Play Store and I just thought, oh, I'll have a look at that. Uh, so if I click on, when you feel panic. There you go, so and the news there. comes up. So one tip would be with sound. If you can't go outside to do some no kind problem. of, there's a Again, app where you'd get So if I do show desktop, your body, your, the audio carries on. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I thought it was going to. Uh, so let's close all those apps. Yes, it does something weird there. But it's not, it's not intended for the Pi, this operating system. So have a look at it if, you plan to, if you've got an Android phone and you plan to use something like this. Oh, look, no recent. Oh, I haven't had that trebuchet um, notification for a while. Because I've been using the Nova launcher, that kind of gets over that. Uh, which is something that Lineage OS it seems to do on the Pi. Let's keep waiting. Okay, I might have lost it all now. Oh, it's gone to different... The icons have changed, haven't they? Well, let's try closing that app and see if that does anything. Oh, and we're back. So to exit, all I do is click on the Logout Sentio and you can see that it has this nice splash screen and then it logs me out and now I'm back into the Nova Launcher. So if I wanna search the apps, it's more of an Android environment. Oh, you've got to do this slowly. If you do it too fast, it doesn't do it. Anyway, uh, just something interesting, as I say, not something you'd use, but uh, it might be something that you've, if you've got an Android phone, you might wanna research this and use a DeX-like system on your Android phone. All right, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.